Hey guys, my name is Elise and welcome to my channel and if you're not new around here, then welcome back. So for today's video, I bring you guys this really smoky cat eye makeup look. It has a little bit of a cut crease going on, has a little bit of a cat eye going on, has a little bit of everything. I love watching people do these makeup looks because they're just so dramatic, so intense, and just so like va va boom, you know what I mean? And I just love them so, so, so much. I figured this would be the perfect time to upload something like this because it's perfect for prom, a nighttime wedding, any sort of girls night a club night girl the options are endless with a look like this anything you know what girl work to church okay this is a talk through video so I am sorry if it's a little bit on the longer side your girl tends to talk a little bit too too much okay I hope that you enjoy this video and if you want to see how I go from I called it two to a hundred I'm gonna call it two to a hundred I can't call it zero because I started off with my brows already done so if you want to see how I go from two to a hundred for a special occasion then go ahead and keep watching um I really want to take this from like zero to a hundred or you know what maybe not zero because I already have my eyebrows on some of you were gonna do like from like two to a hundred the two being my brows you know what I mean everything else not done yet I'm going to be using the Milani bold obsessions palette I really have been loving 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 this palette it is amazing and honestly like it's probably my favorite palette from the drugstore right now so this is definitely a banger I used this palette a couple videos ago actually. It was a Valentine's Day video that I did. Just it's giving me so many like high-end vibes and I just figured one time wasn't enough. I had to bring it back. I had to bring it back and I told y'all. I told y'all she was coming back. Okay, don't act like I didn't warn you. I told you she was coming back. So here she is. She's back. She's ready to play. She's ready to serve us today. I'm going to be doing a very smoky eye kind of look today. So I'm actually gonna bring out the tape. Good old friend Scotch. Scotchy. So whenever you're doing a smoky eye and you want to use scotch tape, make sure you just grab your scotch tape. I learned this trick from Jaclyn Hill, but you just take it, put it on the back of your hand and rip it off so it's not super sticky and it doesn't tug on your eye too much. That removes some of the stickiness off of the tape. I'm going to take it, angle it towards the bottom of my eye, up towards the end of my eyebrow. Don't close it in too much because then you're going to have a weird edge and you're going to have a weird like closure on your actual makeup. So you want to make sure you angle it from the edge of your eye to the edge of your brow. I'm starting off with this brush right here. This is a Luxie... 205 tapered blending brush. I love this brush because it's very fluffy. I'm just gonna grab this shade right here. I've honestly used this palette about three, four times and it looks like I haven't even touched it. I mean, obviously you can tell by like my fingerprints and all that stuff, but like looking at the actual colors and stuff, like you can't even tell that I've used it multiple times and I have used it multiple times. I'm gonna grab this shade right here, which is just a nude beige um, shade and I'm just going to put that in my crease and windshield wiper motions like so. Oh my god, I forgot to prime. Duh! Oh my god, okay. Hold please. I need to take this off because I have to prime my eyelids. I have oily eyelids and if I do not prime them, then stuff will start to crease and get really nasty real quick. Alrighty, kids. So now we can definitely keep it moving with a butt because... I forgot to prime earlier. So now the shade and I'm just going to put that in my crease. Grab my Luxie 235 blending brush. A little smaller than the one that I just used, which was this one. Um, so as you can see, this will actually be better for actually being able to be more precise with the color that I'm going to go in with next, which is going to be this color right here, which is this brown. It looks really, really deep on camera, but it's actually a medium toned brown where the last blending shade that I just used right here was kind of like all over the upper part of my eye. This one I want to concentrate it more and have it be a more precise sort of line. I love that these are pigmented, but at the same time, they don't lose their blendability and they still remain very easy to blend and very easy to work with. Really take your time when you're blending these shades out because that's really what's going to give you that diffused sort of cat eye, very blended, smoky type of look. I mean, when you rush it, it shows, so just really be careful with that. Blend like it is your full-time job, okay? You need to go overtime with blending, girl, okay? It wasn't as, it probably didn't, what happened? Oh, what happened? 
I thought the power went out. I was about to cry. So, like I was saying, just really blend. Take your time um, and don't rush the process. Even if the look doesn't look like it's coming together, it will. A little bit of this black shade right here. And I've never... I don't think I've used the black in this palette yet. Um, so I'm about to put it to the test right now. I'm using a small tapered blending brush, a Luxie 231. I think every brush that I've used so far was a Luxie brush. I really love Luxie brushes, in case you couldn't tell. I'm just applying this to the outer corner of my eye. I want the look to like start off light and then get darker as it goes. So I really want to just keep the black and concentrate it on the outer corner of the eye. And if you are a beginner, this tape is going to be phenomenal because it's going to keep you very precise. I'm not even a beginner, but honestly, like, I love me some good old scotch tape. When you're doing a smoky eye like this that involves black, good old scotch is going to keep me in check. It's going to say, no girl, you ain't about to cross this line. So that is about as deep in that I will go with the black, which, by the way, it's a pretty good black. I'm not going to say it's like the blackest black that I ever used because it's definitely not. I've used blacker shadows. But this one is very good for it to be drugstore. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start cutting the crease. And for that, I'm going to use my Tarte Shape Tape and mine is in the shade Light Neutral. And I'm going to take this little brush right here from this BH Cosmetics set that I have. And I'm just going to take some of this concealer, put it on the back of my hand here. You want to use something like this with kind of with an edge that's a little bit on the thinner side, as you can see. Anything with an edge will do, and that's a little bit on the smaller side, so you can get really precise and in there. You definitely don't want to use a blending brush for this because, girl... That's going to look a mess. I have this shade right here which is called Slate All Day. And I'm just going to apply that right next to the black here because I want to create that gradient look that starts at like a lighter and then it just fades into a darker. I'm going to grab the brush that has the black. No extra black on it and I'm just going to just blend that all in because I don't want any harsh lines. I'm just going to grab this shade right here just to apply that to the inner third of my eye. This one is called Sands of Time. It's just a beautiful champagne shimmer shade. It's just so beautiful and extremely pigmented. It is so intense on its own. Like, you don't even have to put Fix Plus or anything. I kind of pat that in between the line between this and the gray just to make sure that I have a nice gradient effect and it doesn't look like there's like a harsh line in between these two shades and then by kind of patting it like that you're kind of going to start blending them so it starts that seamless transition so now i'm just going to remove the tape and as you can see you have this banging line right here minus that i'm going to fix that and it's just such a good guide just to making sure that you have a nice precise line. Um, and like I said, it's so beginner friendly in case you, do, you did get like makeup all over the place. You can just take a makeup wipe now and kind of just follow that line as a guide. So that's going to complete the eye for now. I'm going to take a makeup wipe and just clean out all the excess fallout because this there's quite a little bit of fallout from all the blending. If you have to clean up any excess fallout out, you'll have that precise line there from the tape. And it just makes it so much easier. It's like the best cheat sheet in makeup. I swear to God. I'm going to go ahead and do a wing. I'm hoping the wing gods are with me today because Lord knows I struggle so bad when doing my wing. I swear to God. I don't even do a wing liner because I don't even want to deal with the frustration. And then not only that, you know what really, you know, you know what? Let's talk about wings real quick. You know what really frustrates me about wings? You could do all this work, all of this work on your eyeshadow. And it just takes a bad wing to ruin all of your work. That's what I don't like. The fact that you, you Sally, can go so hard and do the best eyeshadow work, blend like a dog, and then here comes the wing liner. Here comes the wing liner. Okay, wing liner's just gonna come and mess it all up. And you gotta start from scratch. That's, that's what I don't like. But you know what, we are gonna go for it today. Okay, so let's pray. Let's all hold hands and say a little prayer. Because Lord knows, if I mess up this wing, 
gonna be a bad day. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do lashes now. I'm gonna be wearing these by Lily Lashes. They're so gorgeous, very gorgeous. So now that my lashes are on, I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my face. I'm gonna use this little baby Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I don't know where my big one is. I can't find, I can't seem to find my normal size one, so this will have to do. And I do have pretty open pores, especially around my nose, so just push them into my skin because I do feel it helps with the appearance of large pores. It helps to reduce them and keep them in check. So I just like to push that in. I'm gonna take this Fiona Styles foundation. This is the matte finish foundation in the shade number six. This shade is a little bit deep for me, especially now. Um, this is most definitely my summer shade. But it's not too bad, and I'm sure that once I put my concealer on, I'll be able to blend that in. Medium to full coverage. It's very comfortable, and it is matte without feeling matte, if that makes sense. It's not drying. For concealer, I'm going to use the Tarte Shape Tape again. This is in the shade Light Neutral. I'm just going to apply this on the under eye area. Pin, Cupid's Bow on my forehead. The foundation is a little bit dark for me right now, so I am just going to be very generous with this just to really lighten up that foundation. So now to set that concealer, I'm taking my absolute fave. It's the Cody Airspun Powder right here. I'm just going to use a little bit of this to bake. On the under eye area I do have oily combination skin so I always have to make sure that I am setting anything wet you guys always want to remember if it feels wet you have to set it so the concealer obviously it's a wet sticky sort of substance you want to make sure you're setting it especially if you have oily skin or if you're prone to creasing just because that's going to definitely minimize it the baking or any sort of powder you don't have to bake um you can bake for like 10 seconds at maximum and then just take it off that's usually what i do i don't really i don't really leave it on there for much longer just take off all the excess after about five to ten seconds then the baking has well done its job you don't want to over bake as crazy as it sounds probably thinking we're baking we're still talking about makeup here right and yes we're still talking about makeup um you don't want to over bake because that's going to give you that cakey look and that is not a cute look that's not a look that anybody aims to go for i guarantee you that so you just don't want to over bake um so the next thing i'm going to do here is i'm just going to take my kat von d shade and light contour palette i don't know what i was going to say there shade right here to kind of just carve out my cheekbones i'm going to use both of these um and just kind of carve out my cheekbones and do like a light contour For blush, I'm going to use this little brush right here by Tarte. This is in the shade Party. So I'm going to grab this one right here, and I'm just going to apply a little bit to my cheeks. Apply a little bit of black liner on the waterline just to really intensify the lower eye area. And before I go in with highlight or anything, I'm actually going to just focus on the under eye area really quickly. I might just grab this gray right here and just kind of use that to smoke out the lower lash line. If you're doing a look like this with black on the waterline, and if you feel like the eyeshadow on your waterline tends to run throughout the day, the good thing about this is that going in with a dark shade or something like that is actually going to set that liner so it doesn't water. I mean, the bad thing is you're not always going to wear black eyeshadow on the lower lash line. But the days that you do and you want to do something smoky, if your eyeliner does tend to water and run throughout the day, this black shadow is really going to set it in place and make sure that it doesn't move. And for highlight, I'm going to use a little bit of the Diamond Glow Powder by Artist Couture. And this one is in the shade Illuminati. I love this highlighter. It's just... I love this highlighter. His highlighters are so intense, so in your face, but I just, oh, I love them. You really want to make sure you're taking off the excess because if not, girl, I don't think you're ready for that highlight. You're going to be like, ah, this is like intense. So really, um, I swear, I feel like this product is going to last me forever because the amount that I actually use is like so minimal because you don't need a lot of this. It is so pigmented. It is just like the most finely milled but intense glow. I 
wanted to do something really bold on the lips, but like the more I think about it, the less I want to. Like I just want it to be a very effortless. That is not the word that I'm looking for. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm getting very ahead of myself here. Galactic Posh. This is like one of my favorite liquid lipstick colors and liquid lipstick formulas. So you guys, it's pretty much going to complete this makeup look. Before you leave, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, okay? I want to see you coming back. I want to see more of you, okay? So go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss an upload and you know when I'm uploading these because I'm, I'm on a roll these days, okay? Look, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this smoky cat eye cut crease makeup look. I really, really enjoyed doing this for you guys. I really hope that you guys learned a couple things. And if you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. If you enjoyed it, give this video a thumbs up. Girl, give it a thumbs up. Thumbs up, okay? If you stayed this long, just give it a thumbs up because you are a real MVP. Thank you so much for staying till the end of this video. I love you guys. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.